Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about Roma Eterna. The uh, basically the um, story, if you couldn't necessarily tell, is that it's uh, an alternate history if Rome, if the Roman Empire never collapsed, and uh, you know, like you know, al alternate histories are always, uh, you know, like I mean, the, okay. Uh, you know the, so, the overall structure is that um, essentially is like um, sort of like point of divergence is like uh, where the it, the time in this book diverges from ours is apparently the uh, the book of Exodus uh, you know with like Moses you know crossing the Red Sea and escaping from the Egyptians and in this version that it, that whole thing failed and um, uh, uh, yeah, apparently it's like, uh, how, how it goes is the, um, apparently the, um, the, um, whole, uh, uh, like, uh, because the, the Jews never, were never able to escape to their new home, their, the, their promised land, and then, uh, like, as a result, like, 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 Jesus was never born, and then Christianity was, like, never founded, and uh, then um, something, something, and uh, Rome doesn't collapse. Rome's Roman Empire stays strong and stuff. Um, I I don't I, I honestly I don't really think it's really explained that well in here. Like here, it just lo sort of like a prologue and. Um, uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> if I had to guess, I'd probably say it's something like, uh, how, um, uh, there, there's this, uh, particular guy on YouTube called, or channel on YouTube, um, called Alternate History Hub, and he has, like, some ideas, like how, um, like when, uh, Emperor Constantine, if I think it was right, it, uh, he, um, uh, you know, founded, like, legalized, uh, you know, Christianity and sort of that kind of split everyone up and stuff like that. But in this one, it's just like, but here it's just like, um, you know, uh, like it's something about like undermining Roman values or whatever. And, you know, yeah. But then again, that's not really the point. You know, the overall point is, you know, Rome is still up, never collapsed when it did and still stays strong. Although apparently it does still split up into the east and western halves, um, the then despite like essentially is um, it's a series of short stories over a series of time, and um, uh, like how it goes is um, and like even though it's a bunch of different short stories, it still has the overall uh, you know, sort of arc to it, where you can see, like, how the history is forming, you know, like, um, like, uh, starting at, um, the second wave where the, like, uh, one of the, the Western Emperor decides that he just wants to invade the Novus Roma, which is the Americas, that's what they call them, and, um, and then they, uh, and like that, they wind up. They wind up uh, like destroying their treasury until um, one day the eastern half just conquers the western half temporarily, but then the western half breaks free, comes back on top, and in, in another story. And then, um, then later on, there's like the whole uh, time of like decadence or whatever, until we eventually they eventually have a bunch of different. A, re a reformation, and then finally a revolution where they go back into the uh, days of the Republic. <clears throat> and eventually there's the last story, which basically just turns this whole thing into a giant unofficial prequel to... Yeah. Uh, and anyway, whatever. Anyway, um... You know, it's still a very fantastic, uh, you know, whole journey and stuff, and, uh, 
and you know just just the tells of it makes this whole place look very interesting and cool and um, yeah one nice little touch is that um, because like uh, they use it's going by a different uh, like Christianity was never founded or they are of course using a different calendar you know where um, they, they have this thing where like you might you um, subtract uh, or subtract 753 years to get like our our date and uh, yeah I just thought it was like a nice little touch and it's just uh, again you know lot, lots of really interesting stuff like overall I give this <clears throat> a 4 out of 5 a uh, just a, a comfortable recommendation I kind of thought the, thought the uh, we kind of did a, like a kind of a poor job at explaining like how exactly it is that Rome you know avoided collapse in this timeline you know because you know who's to say Christianity wouldn't have just been founded in Egypt you know <clears throat> but um, you know overall you know it's still a fantastic read and uh, check it out yeah anyway uh, next time we're going back from alternate history to Mars until then see you later keep yourselves awesome go out and support your local libraries and bookstores with your money patronage and donations or whatever and have a nice day <laughs>